You know what they say, variety is a spice of life, and I like it spicy. What do I mean by that? I mean we got three completely different triumphs today from completely different eras and generations, three completely different styles of riding motorcycles. Jared Weems right in front of me with the 1966 Triumph Bonneville. We got Josh with the 2006 Rocket 3. I am currently sitting on a 2020 Triumph Daytona 765 Moto 2 all carbon fiber Moto GP motorcycle which is made to do nothing but go really fast and make really sharp turns like a madman. Things I do not know how to do, nor do I want to try to do because I am not that crazy. I am crazy in different ways. Let's go! Let's go! Me and you, me and you, let's go! School zone, me and you right now! <laughs> First thing on the docket today, we are heading over to Mr. Dunderbox. You've seen it a few times. It's close enough to the shop that we get to go there a lot. They have an amazing beer selection. They have amazing foods. I really enjoy the fact that we are that close to which means we get to go to it more often than we used to. It's a great place to go hang out with friends and just relax and enjoy the moment. And isn't that what life is all about? Full talk. Me, 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 me. Go fast. Not that fast. Typically people make those noises when they don't when they don't have those things with them. Ruben worst. Hot dog, sauerkraut, all the other stuff. Every mustard I could get. Curry, ketchup, and palm. And we eat. Okay, cool. <laughs> oh yeah, she has got to run away from us, so bye, we'll see you later. <laughs> bye. Mr. Dunn Box is not disappointed. I've been coming here since 1992 when they're in the University Mall. If you're in the area, grab some food, grab a beer. Uh, we'll see you back at the shop. And as things get spicier as the day goes by, getting off to Daytona, Weems tells me to go ahead and ride his 66 Bonneville. Uh, Friday's the spice of life. We all like different things. Josh likes country music. I like ska. I hate country music. He hates ska music. We don't hate each other for it. We make fun of each other for it. It's just cool to have all these things at your disposal. I'm having so much fun riding that bike. I would never own one though. Maybe I would. But it's like the last one on the list type of like, I would own that one. But it's a lot of fun. But imagine I'm gonna enjoy that one slightly more though, because I'm kind of like a history buff at times. I enjoy the, the vintage feel of things and like, I feel like it might be a little bit more enjoyable feeling the mechanics of it. You gonna ride it? Yeah. Okay, what I gotta do? Just kick it? Make sure the pedicock's on, turn the key on. So to shut it off, you have to use the key to shut it off. There's no chill switch in. All right. Turn the key backwards, kick it, just start right up. Sweet. Is it weird that I really like the fact that the key's a little bent? Oh yeah, I tried to bend it back because it might snap off. <laughs> Nothing like a clutch from the 60s. It's got a really Stiff, yeah, it's all right, man. Oh. <laughs> yes. God damn it, Jared, I want one now. It's been two seconds. Whoa, okay, yeah, that's right. That's right. Every time. 
I remember to shift on the right, I forget to brake on the left. It's so amazing when a bike that's, when it, it's so amazing when you're on a 60 year old bike, it's just as exciting as a one year old bike. Damn it. Of course. <laughs> I love all the dials on these old motorcycles. Like all this little headlamp stuff. Wrong side. Every time. reason I seem to be having way more difficulty remembering the right hand shift this time than I was last time. Maybe it's because I was riding the Daytona around. It feels like it's from the 60s but in a good way. Like it was built to last. It was built to survive. It vibrates like it's from the 60s too. <laughs> this is so cool. Like I'm in happy days. <laughs> hey! First of all, bikes are not nice, they're cool. I don't seem to be doing as smooth of a job with this one as I did with the Thunderbird. But hey, gotta start somewhere, right? God damn it, first sucks. I have to admit, riding this bike, I feel my uh, little pamperedness in riding motorcycles. Where the majority of the motorcycles I have ever ridden are brand new bikes. I can admit I've been a little pampered. There's a huge learning curve on this one. Hell, if I was doing it right now, I probably wouldn't have let me ride this thing. engineering it feels like it's from the 60s so in comparison to the 52 which is more enjoyable in a weird way the 52 i know me too